Once Docker is running and started, let's keep things simple and show you how you can use Docker for several operations from viewing images, containers, and more. This will be important before you can understand how you can set up a Docker container to run your network automation tools or other systems that you might have. So everything that you would do in Docker will involve what is called Docker commands, which are easy to use and understand. It will start with the command Docker, followed by its action or operation, followed by a number of flags that you can specify. Okay, so starting out, if you want to run a Docker container, we will use the command docker run followed by the actual container name. Now, if you type in a container name, it will attempt to locate it first on your local repository on your computer that has Docker installed. If it is not there, it will attempt to locate that container name on the Docker repository or what is called the Docker hub. If it is there, it will download that image and store it on your computer. Then it will run and start that container. However, by default, if there are no commands or actions for that container, it will stop. So let's run a simple container called Hello World, which we hinted at when we did our tests on our Linux based system, which has Docker engine installed. But the Hello World is a very basic container that is located on the Docker hub. And it is a great place to get started to get you exposed to images and containers. And here's what we would do. We would do Docker run followed by the container name of hello dash world. And the operation is complete. So as you can tell, the very first thing that it's reported was unable to find the image called hello world, followed by the version. It could not find that locally on the computer. Therefore, it went ahead and connected with the Docker hub. So it's pulling it from that library and this is the actual container name. Then once it does that, then it will run that container which is going to simply just print this out and then stop. So again, with that container, it simply just echoes some getting started details into our console. But let's explore where this image and the container exists now on our system.